Hey everyone, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're doing one of my favorite stories of all time, The Lion King. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Orange is gonna come in and totally ruin the story, right? Wrong! I just finished watching it, and I thought it was the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Great to hear. What was your favorite part, Orange? Oh man, how could I choose? The animals, the songs, the villain? Oh, don't make me decide, it was all too good. Okay, okay, I won't make you decide. And the best part is that I just finished watching it, so I remember everything. Orange won't be ruining today's story, no siree. Wow, I'm actually excited for a story time episode for once. Me too, now let's get started. What's with the mullet wig? Just getting in the mood, let's do this thing, Woohoo! Okay. Once upon a time, a new baby prince was born. And all the animals from the Pride Lands came to celebrate. There were zebras, elephants, snow leopards, crocodiles, giraffes, rhinos, rednecks, ATVs, and of course, tigers. Um, I don't recall any of those being there, but point is, there were a lot of animals. Exactly, and they all looked up towards Southern Pride Rock for a glimpse at the baby. The music crescendoed, and all the animals went nuts and BAM! The Tiger King! Stop, stop everything! What? What's the matter? Was his mullet not long enough? Orange, I don't think you watched The Lion King. I think you watched Tiger King. They're not the same thing? No, they're completely different things. Just as lions and tigers are completely different animals. Hmm, I don't know about that. Ever heard of a liger? I learned about it when I watched The Lion King. You watched Tiger King, and I can prove it. Try to finish this sentence. Baby Simba grew up to be a... Eclectic redneck zookeeper country music star. Try again. There was someone jealous of Simba and did not want Simba to become king. That person's name was... The Witch Carol. Ugh, last chance. After Simba's father died in a wildebeest stampede, Simba... Realized he'd never recover financially from this. Orange, you watched Tiger King. Who cares? It's probably better than your movie anyway. We are not going to debate this. Now then... After his father's death, Simba goes away. To prison, where he serves 22 years for attempting to hire a hitman. Moo! Until one day his father appears in the sky and tells him, You'll never recover financially from this. Orange! The Lion King is one of the greatest Disney films ever made, and you are absolutely desecrating it right now. Pear, pear, pear. Does the Lion King have incredible songs? Yeah. Does it have unforgettable characters? Sure. And does it have murder, mayhem, and madness? Yes. Then it really can't be that different from Tiger King, so why don't you relax and let me tell the thrilling conclusion to the story we both can enjoy. The Liger King. No, oh, good grief. Simba returned home to Southern Pride Rock to reclaim his throne, only to find that Jeff had stolen the zoo. Zoo? What zoo? And who's Jeff? Now, what does it matter? The story's already ruined anyway. So Simba and Jeff got into a big fight. Jeff tried to get Simba killed by putting sardine oil on Simba's foot. So then Simba bit Jeff's arm off. But guess what? It wasn't a big deal. Nobody sued anybody, and the Pride Lands continued on as they always had. And everyone lived their best lives, driving ATVs, wearing cat prints, and making horrible country music videos. Yeah, pretty sure we're getting sued for this. Oh no, we'll never recover financially. <laughs> uh.